Alright guys, today we're taking a look at the Happy 99 worm. Now this worm has the notoriety of being the first true internet email worm when it began spreading in January of 1999. Now we'll go ahead and run it. You see that it displays this box, Happy New Year 1999, with a bunch of fireworks. Now this is merely to disguise its activity. Now as you can see, it dropped three files to the Windows system directory, ska.dll, ska.exe, and winsock32.ska. Now, winsock32.dll is a critical systems window, Windows DLL that deals with internet connections and email sending and receiving, and this is a backup copy of that. The worm infects the original copy and replaces the original, and then it copies the original file to this file name right here. So, in effect, this is winsock32.dll, just with a different file extension. SCA is the worm body, same as happy99.exe, except it does not run the uh, fireworks effect when it's run. It uses this one to start with the system every time. And SCA.dll monitors incoming connections and calls winsock32.dll so that every time a user with an infected PC receives an email and replies to it, it automatically sends another reply with a blank message body and happy99 as an attachment. This, it also posts to uh, Usenet groups, where it would reply after somebody posted a message, and as such became a very widespread worm in a very short amount of time. It's not too difficult to remove, all you have to do is delete the worm's executable and rename wsock32.ska to wsock32.dll while deleting the original one. And that's about it for the Happy 99 worm.